Hi everyone, thanks for watching Lori Wired, and in this tutorial we're going to be using the Android Medusa binary instrumentation framework to unpack a packed APK. So in a previous tutorial we looked at one option of writing a custom decryptor in Java in order to unpack an APK and get the payload. So in this tutorial we're going to be covering another way of doing that same thing, but instead using dynamic analysis. I'm going to pull up my APK that I'm looking at and we're going to be using the same sample from that previous tutorial to demonstrate the multiple ways of unpacking an APK. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up in JDEX. So I'll throw my sample in here, let it load. And let's open our manifest just to get an idea of what this APK is doing. First of all, we had an application subclass inside of this APK, com, RAT, etc. So let's take a quick look at that code that's going to be running first when the APK is started. So com, RAT, that's our class. I'm going to collapse this. So looking at this class, we see a lot of encoding going on, and we also see that a file is getting written to disk and read in again. And also we notice that there is a call to the class loader dex class loader. So that's going to be taking in a dex file from disk and dynamically loading different classes and methods from that dex file. So what we did in the previous tutorial is we took all of this code and we modified it and threw it into VS Code to have it unpack itself and eventually dump the payload to this file on disk. So we can see that file if we go right here. This is our decoding class that we wrote and this was the payload that we generated. Now that is one way of unpacking an APK. But let's say you're looking at an APK that has the unpacking code spread across a ton of different classes and it's just super time consuming to write that custom decryptor. Or maybe the unpacking part is spread across native code and managed code and it's just really challenging to write a custom decryptor for this. In these cases, it might actually be easier to use dynamic analysis and just run the APK on an emulator or on a device and let it, let it unpack itself. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. It's kind of just a judgment call based on the reverse engineer, whether they feel like running something dynamically or writing code to decode the APK. Basically just decide what's more time efficient and then go with that option. So let's open up the framework that we're going to be using today to help us with our unpacking process. This is the binary instrumentation Medusa framework that we're going to be using today. And this has just a ton of different modules and it's built on top of Frida so that it can automatically hook different method calls that might be of interest to an analyst. And it also has just a ton of different functionality that you can feel free to explore. We're only going to be using one small module from this framework today. So you can see that we can hook different classes and these are all of the modules that are available to us when we install this. And what we're going to be using is actually Medusa running inside of a Docker container. I went ahead and put the code inside of a container as well as added Frida to these Docker containers since Medusa uh -oh. requires the Frida server to be running on the target device in order to connect. So we can use this to quickly and easily run Medusa without having to install all of the different requirements and install Frida on the device. Okay, so let's get to the actual unpacking part. I already have my device up and running and I'm running this in Azure on an x64 machine and I have used SSH tunneling to forward the ports to get connect to the device UI as well as ADB from my local host. And I'm going to be using the bud TMO container that I've talked about in a few previous videos. 
Okay, so I have my sample and already installed here. This is the Moptez APK that we're gonna be looking at. And let's go back to our code and look at what call are we trying to intercept. So we wanna take a look at the call to dex class loader because this is gonna be the actual call that is loading the dynamic file from disk. So if we look here, this is taking in the path to that dynamically loaded dex file and it's gonna be loading that and invoking code from that later on. So that's the code that we want to intercept. So if we go over to our emulator, let's run our Medusa framework and see which module we want to pick based on the fact that we're using the dex class loader call. So first of all, I'll make sure that my device is properly connected, looks good. And I'll install my APK. All right, looks good. Let's see, make sure it installed properly. Here it is right here on the left-hand side. That looks good. Okay, now we're gonna be running the Medusa framework inside of our Docker container. And this is all available for you on GitHub if you would like to follow along as well. Or optionally, you can install the Medusa framework directly on your host um, device. So let's copy this command. This is gonna be running a new container with host networking and we're gonna be running it interactively so that we can give input to the Medusa framework while we're trying to unpack this. So I'm just gonna paste this in here and we'll go ahead and run this container. So make sure when you're running this that you choose the container that matches your host architecture. If you're running on an ARM, host, then you'll want to run the ARM version. And if you're running on an x86 host, you'll run the x86 version. And both of these support x86, 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 64 for this one, as well as ARM and ARM 64 for the ARM container. All right, so we ran our Medusa framework and it looks like we're running Frida on the target device. And this is what you should see if it was successful. So we're going to connect to our emulator 5554. So that's what we saw when we ran ADB devices. So right here. So let's select two to connect to our emulator. And you can already see this is the package that we installed. If we go over to JDEX, and we go to the manifest, we scroll over to see the package name. That's the package that we just installed. So now we want to actually hook the call to dex class loader and have it dump that dynamically loaded file to disk for us to get. So I'm gonna go search. And this shows all the different modules that are available for you. So I highly encourage you to explore a bunch of these and test any that look interesting to you. And you can also look at the source code. So I think we're going to be using this code loading dump dynex call right here. And this is actually going to dump that dynamically loaded dex file to disk. But if you aren't sure, what you can do is you can go to the Medusa framework modules code loading is the one that we were looking at and then if we want to see what dump dynamic dex is doing we can just come over here and see oh this is going to be looking hooking dex class loader path class loader in memory dex class loader and all of the different commonly used code loading methods in java so then it's going to be dumping that file to disk and just outputting that it has found a dynamically loaded file and it's going to be dumping it all right, so now that we've seen that this is indeed the module we want to use in order to get the payload and dump it, let's actually use it. What we can do is we can come over to the modules that we just searched and we will copy this one. And we're gonna type use the module and you can do multiple modules at the same time. And we're gonna compile. So this is compiling a new Frida script in order to hook that method call. 
And so now we want to actually run it. So I'm going to do list to show the installed packages on the device. So it looks like we have our package and our emulator is up and running and healthy. So now in order to run this, we're going to do run dash n and then this is going to be the number of the package that we're going to be running. So zero and we will just let that run. So we can see our emulator should be up and running and we'll watch this output from Medusa. Looks like it found the call to dex class loader as well as one to path class loader. This is probably benign though, just getting uh, chrome.apk. This one is probably malicious though. That is probably our call to dex class loader over here. And it looks like Medusa was successful and dumped the one probably benign APK to disk. You can let that run a little longer, see if it's going to dump this file as well. If not, we know where the path is on disk. So this is going to be the path on the actual Android device that it was loading. So we can still pull that file from the device. All right. Looks like the app is trying to access all your files and media. That's interesting. I'm going to click allow just to try and see what it's going to do. I'm not sure what that's saying. <laughs> all right. I think we've let it run long enough. So I'm just going to kill this. And when we're done with Medusa, we can hit exit and I'll just reset everything. Oops, our app is still running. Okay, so now what Medusa did is it showed us which dex file was being loaded by dex class loader. So I'm going to go to the device and just see what is in this folder. So this is going to be the actual application folder of this particular package we installed on the device. So I'll do adb shell and we'll connect to our device. And we can do change directory to the application folder. Okay, that looks good. We've got quite a few different files here, so we can just explore a little. And when I am looking at a malicious APK, I like to do ls-al, so ls-a to show all the files or folders in a directory, dash l to list them. And you will catch files like this that begin with a dot. So let's see if we just do ls. See, we don't have this dot um or dot imprint and stuff. So sometimes um, malware developers will create di directories like that or files so that you don't see them. So that's just one random interesting portion. And it looks like we have one dumped file here. So that's what uh, Medusa does is it dumps I'll show you right here, dumps the file named dump underscore and then the counter of the file it dumped. So any that start named like that are from Medusa. And if we remember, we should be able to also find this file. So let's go to app payload dot underscore dex. And here we go. That was the dex file that we were interested in. So now we can see we've got our payload and we have one dump from Medusa. So let's see if we were successful in actually getting the malicious payload from dynamic analysis. So I'm going to exit out of here and I will pull up another command prompt right here. And I have forwarded my ADB port as well from my current machine, my host, not my Azure VM, where is that, that's actually running the malware. So I'll just pull the malicious files directly onto my host. So I'll do adb connect. And we've connected to our device and we want two files. We're gonna do adb 
pull. Make sure you can see this. And then this is gonna be the remote path. So the path on the device. So that's gonna be right here. Oops. And then it was called classes.dex. And then I'll just pull it into the current directory we're in. So dot. So then it's gonna pull that classes.dex file. And the other file I want to pull, I want to pull this dump just to see what it is. It might be the benign chrome.apk, but I'll just double check. So that was in files. I'm also going to pull this. ADB pull. And then it was called dump zero dot. Okay, so we'll give that one second to pull. All right, so now our files have been pulled to our host machine. So I'm just going to take a look and check if one of these is our payload. So this dump output was the one that we created from our VS Code script in Java. And it looks like it is the same size as this classes.dex file that we just pulled from our device. So I'm going to just double check and throw this classes.dex into JDEX to see if it contains the same code that we were looking for. So JDEX and then I will put classes.dex. Let that load. And if you remember, we go over to the Android manifest. We could tell this was packed because we saw all of these classes on disk that were defined. So for example, CN, JIG, etc. that didn't actually exist in the left-hand side package explorer. So let's see. Looks like we've loaded. And I am seeing CN, JPush, and all of that. So it looks like this is indeed our dynamically loaded payload. So this probably has all of our malicious or questionable behavior inside of this DEX file. And if we go back to our two files right here, and we just want to quickly check the SHA-256 to make sure they're the same. You can just do SHA-256, 030FE. And we'll do our dump output. 030FE. So they're the same. So now we have successfully shown two different options for unpacking a packed APK. So thanks so much for watching Lori Wired, everyone. Today we looked at how we could use the Medusa framework to unpack a packed APK and get that dynamically loaded DEX file. We also talked about the pros and cons of writing a custom script to unpack APKs versus dynamically running the file in order to get the unpacked contents. And we also used the Docker version of the Medusa framework so that we could quickly and easily unpack our APKs.